I want you to set your heart on God and I have taught you follow Jesus. Set your heart on God. God has something for you. Yes, there is always something in his word, something that he has a portion for you. And I don't want you to allow anything to make you miss what God has for you. If there is a tendency to miss whatever God has for us. Because it does not come the way we always expect God to come. Most of the time, if you look at the man at the pool of Bethesda, he had an expectation, no doubt, that God was going to heal him if he can just step into the water. But the fact is that that route route was not what God intended for him. And when God showed up, he almost missed it. In fact, he gave God a reason why he has not been healed. Not knowing that he was talking to the maker of the limbs that he does not have. God can come to you and you will never know he's there. Yet he came to the well and met a woman. And that woman had an expectation. Because the woman said, oh, we know that when the prophet that they have been spoken of come, then we will understand all things. Not knowing that the one she was speaking to was not just the prophet, he was the son of the living God. So please, I want you to set your heart on God today. Amen? Because God is about to do something that you do not expect him to do, and in the way you probably never expected him to do it. He has chosen to do it on a day like this. I have in the house a good friend of this house. Not just a good friend of this house, but a loyal friend of this house. Someone who had been with us pre the beginning, I would say. Because I believe strongly in my heart that God brings people into your life for beyond your own imagination. God brought this man and his wife into our life, my wife and I, and we have been together for such a long time. In fact, I will say this, for as long as this ministry has been alive, God has brought this family into our lives. And I know that every time we celebrate convention or SFOP, you will always see this family in the house. That is because we are knitted in spirit. Amen. Amen. And I believe strongly that God has put a word in his mouth. Beyond just being a friend, he is a servant of God. A servant of God in the sense that God had called him and God had anointed him for this generation and with a word for this time and season. So that wherever he goes, you hear testimonies of God's move. Whenever he shares the testimonies of what God did in places he goes to, I know that only God could bring such things to pass. And that is why I am so glad and so happy that God has given us the opportunity for the very first time to have him here to minister to us. And you know one thing, it won't be the last time, amen? But I believe strongly that whatever God has planned for do for you today through this servant of his, that you will not miss it in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, I want you to do me a favor, like the good friend of ours said, rise on your feet, everyone, everyone, rise on your feet as we welcome God's apostle, amen, to the nation, apostle Adedamola Timothy. Give the Lord a big hand, hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen to Jesus. Amen. Please, you can have your seat briefly. We are still going to pray before we get into this. Ah, glory be to God. Bishop, thank you so much. Pastor Olive, thank you so much for the opportunity accorded me to, to come here and um, be a blessing to God's people under your care. For all of you that are on site and online, I believe that tonight is a night. Come on now. Oh my God. Hallelujah. I felt the presence of God when wow. I, I came in. Actually, I told Bishop because I was waiting for my wife. Uh, she couldn't make it, but we're going to be here tomorrow. Um, I, I, when I joined online and I saw my darling, em oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, all quiet, please forgive me. Uh, that one is one that touched me most, you know? Because when you see, when you know a child from, uh, oh my God, and you see that child ministry to the Lord. Oh my God. 
That is the joy of every prayer. Come and celebrate this wonderful girl. Hallelujah. You are blessed. We honor you. We celebrate you. Bishop, what can I say? We, we give God pray for your life, sir. Pastor Holy, we thank God for your life. Uh, you know, I, I was thinking this morning as I was praying, because Saturday is, a, is a, when I don't have program in the morning, is a time of consecration for me. Um, sometimes when God wakes me up in the middle of the night, I'm not able, I don't, don't know why. I'm not able to sleep, Bishop. Mm. It will just wake me up. I want to force myself to sleep. Mm. But the sleep will just disappear. Come on now. <laughs> so, and when it does that, I know that it's actually calling me to pray. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's right. You understand? And I was thinking, I said, ah, from Ilori to Ife, to Ibadan, <laughs> to Lagos, to London. <laughs> you see, and as I was thinking about that, I said, God is a very humorous God. Yeah, yeah. Bishop, if you count that, those places, this is the fifth place. Oh. That's right. And five is the number of graves. Yes. And this is the 16th year yeah. of the ministry. That's and right. the Lord took me to the book of Acts, chapter 16. Mm. Whoa. Mm. You understand? Mm. When the scripture, when he said, you, if you notice what he said, he said, now when they are gone through Phrygia. That's right. <laughs> uh, the region of Galatia. That's right. <laughs> and they were forbidden of the Holy Ghost to, to preach the word in Asia. Right. Uh, all those times you were doing the things that uh, mm -hmm. uh, you were committed to do. I don't want to commit any foul now. <laughs> Praise God. But there was something that God wanted you to do. Come on. That uh, you, you haven't gotten there. Hey, hey, hey. Don't mind me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, and the scripture says in verse 17, he said, after they have come to Mysia, yeah. and are said to go into Bithynia, yeah. but the spirit suffered them not. And that, if you count all of this in their five room, yeah. you understand? Yeah. And this is the sixteen year. I, I've come to remind you, sir. Hmm. 16 years, Acts chapter 16. Yes. And, and he now said, in verse eight, and they were passing Messiah and came to Troas. Mm -hmm. So London is your Troas. Hey, Hallelujah. Hey. You know, and a vision appeared to past, I mean, Bishop Antony Nabayom, you know, Mushai. Hey. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You know, there stood a man that was calling, beckoning, come yeah. and help us. Yeah. Bishop. Uh, the men that God has called you to help. Hallelujah. I'm one of them. Hey. Sincerely. That's the reason why every opportunity to come, to listen, I come. And I'm not trying to, this is not a cliche. I mean, you know Bishop is a very passionate man of God. Hallelujah. So, and uh, I believe so strongly that God has called you unto men and they will come. Amen. Amen to Jesus. I know so many of them are here already. So many of them are online. There are still men that are going to come. Amen to Jesus. They are going to come. I hope I've not put anything on. Amen. There are men that will come. And the Lord God Almighty will speedily bring them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. There we see life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So now, I, I, I want to thank God for your life, sir. I deliberately said that because I believe so strongly that uh, the Lord put this word in my heart. Yeah. He, said, he said, there is still a Macedonian call. Bishop, that is coming. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, a prophet, well, I, I, I don't like to say this, but I like to let you know that. I woke up as early as two something this morning. Mm. And since then, I've not slept. I have a consecration every Saturday. I told God, I said, Lord, if I don't have ministration or I don't have any events, mm. Saturday is my Saturday. Mm. You understand what I mean? Everybody goes to work every week. I mean, you go to work, you don't have time to stay in the presence of God. And staying in the presence of God is not just uh, just stay and waiting. Tiny. That's right. Because God told me that the prophetic agenda of ease is coming to pass fast Come on now. upon this land yes, and yes. he's looking for men, men that we eradicate so there's no way you can eradicate except when you get into the place of prayer yeah. so I made up my mind that every Saturday morning the least time I will tarry in the presence of God will be five hours yeah. 
straight five hours. Hannah is nothing, but in times of the spiritual, you know, in the spiritual realm, is something. So now God is looking for men, and God is saying that God is bringing men. Bishop, there are some men that God has apportioned to come. Yes, sir. Uh, you don't need them, they need you. Hey. And by the grace of the Almighty God, you begin to see them Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have a particular point in time that Reverend Peter called me and he said, Please, I, I didn't actually check that when I started. So when it's getting the time, let me know. <laughs> oh, all right, okay. So, um, he told me, he said, he wanted to go to the nations and uh, the church was, uh, the Lagos church was young. And the Holy Spirit told me, the word of the Lord came to me, he said, I said, Rev, don't go anywhere. God said, if you see that. Hmm. And that year, Rev made up his mind to see that. Hmm. And after some time, he said, and I told him, I said, all of the things that we're going to see, we come later. You, you will even be asking yourself, why, God, why did you ask me to see that? Because, you see, the word of God is somehow. That's right. It doesn't come the way you expected it to come. Bishop just said it to us. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah? So, and um, to cut the long story short, he sat down. He didn't go anywhere, sir. Hmm? He sat down. He built that church. Hmm. Lagos, not knowing that after some time, he will go to Canada. Hmm. You understand? And after that time, the Lord made it so that the people that he built started growing. He invested into those people. Wow. That's right. And most of them started growing. They were not just growing in ministry, they were growing in substance. Hallelujah. Now, if Rev said, Ha, now, those are the guys that will rise up. That's right. Those men are coming. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, Bishop, I want to thank God for your life. Thank you. I want to celebrate you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, every one of you know this of passion. Oh my God, when Bishop is preaching, it's like the whole level will just come down, bow. <laughs> He's preaching with everything on the inside of I was speaking with the Reverend the other day, he said, Bishop, he said he has not seen Bishop's passion anywhere. <laughs> you know, his passion, his love, his commitment to the, to, to the kingdom, you know, and even your sacrifice. Mm. I want to thank God for your life. Thank you. An electrical engineer who just dropped it mm. for the sake of the kingdom. Right. Come and rise up on your feet Hallelujah. and celebrate God's servant. Hallelujah. Our bishop, Bishop Anthony, a pioneer, we celebrate you, man of God. If I use this, this 45 minutes to preach you, it, 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 it worth it. Amen. Amen. You know, and you see, what shall I say about, you know, Pastor Holy? I really thank God for your life. You see, they are a, a formidable and an intermittable team. Come on now. They are knitted. They are doing it together. Every one of you has seen that, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. You should take a key from that. Hmm. Because I always tell the people that I can't sell marital, I say, let me tell you something. If, some, if anything cannot stop you, from coming together, yeah. then that thing cannot, can, I mean, the devil cannot win you. Yeah. So I want to thank you, mom. Thank you so much. She's everywhere. Is that to celebrate your mama? Oh my God. Amen. You know, singing, she's there. Preaching, she's there. Um, home from there. Children, there. Bishop, is she's there. You know, because Bishop is a firstborn, isn't it? <laughs> Come and celebrate that one more time. Thank you so much for giving to the Lord. We celebrate you. We honor you. Please, you can have your seat. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I just thought we should give honor to whom honor is due. Um, I have um, a short time to give the word now. I, I will end it when my time is up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, but I will love us to pray before we finish right. just listen to me and listen to me good yeah uh, i'm warming up praise the lord Hallelujah. by the time i get to the cuisine level you will know <laughs> i'm just at the top of ascent now <laughs> you know <laughs> you know to, uh, you know the plane has three 
levels of flight. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Top of ascent, cruising level, and top of descent. Yeah. So I'm just at the top of ascent now. Amen. Amen. So that I believe so strongly that God is going to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank God for God's um, uh, the pastors. You know, he, I, I, I thought he saw my note when he was reading Psalm 75. I said, This man saw my note, Holy Spirit. Praise God. You are going to put on your Bible to Psalm 75. And we will read it, then we will pray, then we get saved. Psalm 75. My wife brought, I mean, sent her greetings. Yeah. By the grace of God, we're going to be live tomorrow. Amen. Yeah. Me, I join every time, especially even when I'm out of the country, I don't know say when I'm in America and you're doing convention, I'm online. That's you may not see me, I'm online. It's only when I'm in London that I try to, to put something. Amen. Praise God. Yesterday, I was from the beginning to the end. All the message. So, all the, the message that preacher preached yesterday, I just want to buttress. I want to follow because he has preached all the message yesterday. <laughs> oh my God. That was serious. That was very, very powerful. This time I listen to Bishop, I'm very, very excited. I'm telling you, my spirit is quickening. And I'm not, this is not a cliche, this is true, ah, sincerely. I'm telling you. And in Psalm 75, even, yeah. I'm going to be reading verse uh, 6 and 7. Yeah. I'm going to be reading King James Version. Yeah. Uh, if you have every, any other translation, that's fine. The scripture says for promotion. Somebody say with me, promotion. Promotion. I like King James Version the way you put it. I will read the New King James Version, but there is a way King James Version put some scriptures. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I salute all the leaders too, please, all the pastors. I eh, told that you welcome me next time when I come. God bless you. <laughs> Praise God. You know, this is home. This is home. That's right. I'm telling you, so I, this, this is not a, time, a place to come and be doing one man of God and Santimony or something. No, 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 no. This is home. Yes, house of mercy is home. Somebody say with me, house of mercy is home. House of mercy is home. So, uh, we, we, we are part of the member of CCLC. Eh? So, right. and in Psalm 75, verse number 6, the scripture says, for promotion cometh neither from the east, uh -huh. nor from the west, uh -huh. nor from the south. Mm -hmm. Let me say something before I get to verse 7. This is what is telling you that if your brother or your mother or your father is in the east or in the south or in the west, promotion is not coming from them. That's right. You understand what I mean? Yeah. No matter what they carry, no matter what they got, yeah. promotion is not coming from them. Yeah. Uh -huh. I read verse 7 now. The scripture says, But God is what? Is the judge. He puts down one and set up another. May the Lord set you up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to close your eyes and begin to pray for everything that you desire in God. Ah, anything that. you desire in God in times of divine lifting. The flesh and blood has not had his servants to uh, put that theme for the convention of the 16th year. Uh, there is a purpose that is proposed on the Lord to have that lifting at this particular point in time. So I want you to begin to pray. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, we enter into lifting. We enter into divine emancipation. We enter into promotion. All of the in CCLC as of mercy and individually in the name of Jesus. In Brato Zazaya, he cato paria na nakate, he zaku parando zezeto, he cato parata. Come and open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth. Promotion lifting, divine lifting. Zekuta kaso kajata, he kaku kaso kikata. Lepa palagata. Father, we give you all the praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, this is our deal. I said, I will open my mouth, I will speak. Yeah. But the word that will be coming, you are the, you are the one that will be speaking it through me. Yeah. So, Father, I don't have my words for these people. Yeah. Because if I have my word for myself, my life will have been better than this. Mm. But it's the word of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, Lord Father, in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, yeah. whatever is their own from you, yeah. you will give to them in the name of Jesus. Hey. 
You said, Jesus Christ said, He said, He will take of me. Yeah. And he will give to you. Yeah. So, Lord, I know I'm the one speaking to the congregation. Yeah. You don't speak to the congregation. You speak yeah. to individuals. Yes. Uh, because the word I'm speaking, you rise upon the words of my articulations. Yes. And you break it in the particles that will mix the understanding of the recipient. Yes. So, Lord, in the name of Jesus, yes. according to the level of their understanding, yeah. you will break the word in Jesus' name. Hey. They will listen for the word and they will get their word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The word is never scarce in shadows. This is our shadow. So, Lord, we pray. The scripture says you appear by your word in shadow. Yeah. Yeah. So, you will appear to everyone. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Come and say, Lord, amen. amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen to Jesus. Now, I, I'm going to preach a short message because I still want to pray after this service. I believe so strongly that something great is going to happen to you. We may not all, all have all the time, but I want to let you know that something is going to drop into your life. Amen. Now, I, it's not a, by a way of bravado. I prayed for this meeting. I prayed for this convention. I prayed for God's servant. And I prayed for God's army. And I prayed for you. You understand? So, now, it does not matter whether you see a, a any kind of shout. It does not matter whether anything... Brrr, but that what I know for sure is that something definite will happen to you. Amen. Oh, your amen is not born again. Amen. I said something definite will happen to you. Amen. That some of you, by the time you get to your place of work on Monday, what you will see will amaze you. Amen. Oh my God. That some of you that have been trusting God for gainful employment. After this convention, the lifting you desire, oh my God, they will use it to beg you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if you are watching it online, you are trusting God for divine connection in marriage. Oh my God. That is one of the listen that you have been trusting God for. And I want to say to you that before the end of this month, the one that is yours will come looking for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come and shout the loud amen. Have your seat. Now, very briefly, by the grace of God, I just want to follow. The, the, the flow that Bishop by God, God by, 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 uh, through God's grace, Bishop laid yesterday. He said quite a lot of things about the, the, the divine lifting. He showed us the way of divine lifting. He showed us what is supernatural, what is natural. He showed us all kinds of things. So, now, by the grace of God, and one of the things that Bishop said yesterday that hit me most is that so many times that you get your lifting when you have hostility. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You understand? When things are not moving well, when you are not able to do what you will have done under normal circumstances. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, and from that realm, I will call, now he, he, he gave us the natural lifting and he gave us the supernatural lifting. Now, I will dwell in the realm of the supernatural. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's the reason why I've talked to my mate. God bless you, Pastor, uh, Pastor Michael. The, uh, uh, and, and, and Madam. <laughs> Praise God. So that, that is the reason why I have titled my exhortation The Mystery of Supernatural Mentality. Yes. The Mysteries of Supernatural. After Actually, I have seven of them. But if I'm not able to preach the seven, I will say it before I go. The Mystery of Supernatural Lifting. Now, uh, in Matthew chapter 13, verse number 11, Bishop, you will realize that Jesus Christ was giving them the parable, the parable of Soa. Yeah. And after he has go, given them the parable of Soa, they were dark in their understanding. They didn't understand what Jesus Christ was saying. Yes, sir. So, many of us do not have the understanding of what Jesus Christ has been saying to us. Come on now. And that is the reason why he comes coded. Jesus Christ, you know, speaks in the coded language because yeah. he's looking forward to you searching out that which he has said. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why a lot of people are not succeeding in their life. Why? Because they don't have the patience to wait in the presence of God yeah. to receive the mystery for their divine yeah. emancipation. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he said unto them in Matthew chapter 13, 
verse number 11. He said, okay, if you don't understand, now let me give you the meaning. Because unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom. Because the kingdom of God rose by mystery. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. He said, the kingdom of God operates by keys. That's the reason why Jesus Christ was raining woe on the Pharisees. He said, woe unto you, Pharisees. You did not enter and you will not allow the people that, that wanted to enter to enter. He said, you are held the key of the kingdom. Of the kingdom. Yeah. And I discovered that what is the key of the kingdom. If you go further, because that is not my message. I don't want to waste that. Oh my God. Have mercy upon me. Now, <laughs> it's the house of mercy. Now, uh, he now said, he, he said that you have not allowed them to go. Now, when I discovered what he was talking about, he was talking about the key as the knowledge of yeah. the spirit of God. Yeah. Now, yeah. another dimension of it is the knowing of revelation. Yeah. Yeah. Your ability to know what to do by time. Yes. Oh my God. A man that knows what to do by time yeah. will never be stranded Come in on. his life. That's because right. the reason why men are stranded is because they don't know what to do. That's right. Show me a man that is succeeding, and I will show you the one that has the key and yes. the mystery. Hallelujah. Come on now. So divine lifting is what God desires for you. Yeah. Yeah. He wants you to have it more than you want to have it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what some people don't know. He wants you to be established more than you want to be established. Mm -hmm. So now it is this mystery that gives you the mastery and it engenders divine lifting. Yeah, yeah. Until you enter into this mystery, oh my God, your rising is not in view. Mm. The rising of men and in the mystery of supernatural lifting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. But the unfortunate aspect of it is this. I will say it then. I will go to those things. The unfortunate aspect is the fact that the devil does not want you to rise. Yeah, yeah. He does not want you to rise. Yeah. Now, you can, when you get home, you can just read that. You can go and read uh, Zechariah, the book of Zechariah. You remember the horns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. The horns that were set yeah. to press that them, to yes. press men down so that they would not rise. Yeah. But God sent class men. Tonight, God will send class men. They will destroy everyone that depressing you down. In the mighty name of Jesus. In every area of life that you, 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 you desire lifting. Oh my God. Is it in your academics? Is it in your marital life? Is it in your business? Is it in your career? Everywhere you want lifting. The Lord said he will give it to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, let me say this to you. That's a spiritual system that God has put in place mm. supernaturally right. for us to enter into divine lifting. Yeah. And when I say that to you, you know, you will say, I've heard about this thing before, but the way we explain it to you, you will understand that you have not actually entered into the depth of it. You know, there is a deep in the depths mm. or depth in the deep that collect onto the deep at the sound of many waters. Many waters and many words fly to you in a revelation form mm. that makes you to be emancipated in anything that God wants you to achieve. Yeah. Now, there are so many people that are under the sound of my voice. They think that idea is the only thing that can do it. No! Mm. I beg to disagree. The idea is good. Though. But there's something they call spiritual intelligence. Yeah. Uh, it, you come about it by the movement of the Holy Ghost come in on. your medulla of Longata. Yeah. Yeah. Holy Spirit begins to move around your mental region. Yeah. Uh, and that is when inspiration begins to come yeah. and revelation will follow. And when revelation follow, come on, revolution will come. <laughs> yeah. Glory be to God. And that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What is number one mystery? Number one ministry, very simple, salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's number one mystery. Now, I discovered something, Pastor Michael, that since the fall of man, yeah. man must be born twice mm -hmm. to face the destination that will not destroy them. Mm. If you are born of a woman since the fall of man, and you are not born the second time, your mastery of the kingdom is zero, and your lifting also is zero. I will explain. You see, salvation is uh, very, very important because number one thing that salvation gives you for lifting 
is that it allows you to be welcome into the family of God. Yeah. Now, when you are welcome into the family of God and you know how to appropriate it very well, you will have the understanding that born into the family of God is a great deal. Yeah. Because that's not where you will see the son or the daughter of a king and you will not see royalty. Mm. Mm. But we don't understand what that means. If we understand what that means, we will be able to you know, leverage on our salvation yeah. because that salvation brought you to a level with Christ, I will explain. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the scripture says in John chapter 1, verse 12, that unto them that uh, receive him, he gave what? He wow. gave power to become the sons, the sons of God. Now, this son now here is gender free, whether you are a woman or you are a man. <laughs> Amen. Uh, because they are, what about the, what about us women? Because some people was quoting scripture when they say, the Hebrew said, it's not saying the Hebrew, the Hebrew, and what woman say, oh God? Why Hebrew is, why is, why don't you wear Hebrew? <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Right on the last side. So now that's the what the scripture is saying. Now the salvation of your soul positions you mm -hmm. to sit together with Christ according to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. That's divine lifting. Yeah. You are seated up there. Yes. Now it has not come only to that, it makes you to be righteousness of God yeah. in Christ Jesus. Now, yeah. when God sees you yeah. as a person that is saved, yeah. he's looking at Jesus. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Hallelujah. And can Jesus fail? No. Oh my God, can Jesus be sick? No. That is the reason why you have to leverage. Yeah. You have to leverage on this thing so that God Almighty will be able to bring you to the place where he has promised you. Listen and listen good. Then another thing I want you to know is the fact that God said in the book, when you read the book of Romans chapter 16, I'm sorry, 88, 16 to 17. I don't want to read it because of time. Now, the scripture said, okay, let us read. Can you give me that scripture? Romans chapter 8, 16 to 17, because it's going to help you. Now, listen to what the scripture says. To, to let you know that one of the first mysteries, you know, of divine lifting is salvation of your soul. Now, Bishop did so well in defining natural lifting and supernatural lifting yesterday. You know, one of the things that he said that mm, so natural lifting is an orchestration of man. Yeah, yeah. And one, when man lifts you, he can pull you down. Yeah. Did you hear that message very well? Me, I was listening with my spirit. No, I was not listening with, that, with, with, with my ears. I was listening with my spirit. You understand? When I see an anointed servant of God, I don't listen with my ears. There's a year that you don't see, or an is it here? Yes, it's right. A year, <laughs> or an year, or whatever it is. I'm sorry. So now, you see, there's that one that you don't see that I used to listen. Now, the scripture says there, he said, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. That we are what? The children of God. Then verse 17, what does he say? I will explain that. He said, and if children, yes. then heirs of what? Of God. And join here with who? Christ. So if so, be that we suffer with him, what are we going to do with him? Glory. Oh my God, the reign of glory is coming. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, what the scripture is simply saying here is this. If when you give your life to Christ, something changes about you. Yeah, uh, yeah. What changes about you is not your physical body. Your yeah. spirit change is transformed. Yeah. It's transfigured. Yeah. You know, the example is what we saw on the Mount of Transfiguration. Yeah. The scripture says the contents of the thing was altered. Yeah. Everything about your spirit man is altered. Yeah. Now, the real you is, is not this you that I'm looking at. Yeah. The yeah. real you is on the inside of you. Yeah. And that's the reason why we say that the spirit realm is more real than the physical realm. Yeah. And that is why the scripture says in the book of Psalm 75, I think, you know, 74, verse number 20, he said, Have respect for the covenant. Yeah, for the yeah. highest places of this world, right. they are habitation of cruelty. Now, I'm going to explain that when I get to another point. Because a lot of people don't understand that before you can enter into some dimension in our material world, yeah. you must have really done it in the right. supernatural world. Yeah. In our say here, he said, uh, we are joint here. Now, to be joint here means three things. Jesus Christ has three things, Bishop. Yeah. He has a position. Yeah. 
He has possession. He has power. So now to be joined here with Christ, it means you have equality of position. Equality of possession yeah. and equality of power yeah. <laughs> with Jesus. Yeah. That is to say, you can operate. That's the reason why when he was going, he said, All power in heaven yeah. and the earth has been given, but I give to you. Come on, now. receive power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's what God is saying. Now it takes power to enter into lifting. Yeah. I will yeah. get there. That's so right. Israel said, the, This thing that Jesus Christ, I mean, uh, the, the Paul said to Roman John, let me just pull them. When I finish, I finish. Now, the thing that Paul said to the Roman church mm -hmm. is very, very powerful. Now, you need to see yourself in another light yeah. from today. That what I am is a joint here with Christ. Yeah. And when I'm joined here, I am seated. Yeah. Where are you seated? With Christ. With Christ, where? In heaven. In place. That is to say, you are not of the mundane. Yeah. You are a man who are you are spiritual and you want to have a natural experience. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if that is the case, then you will be able to know how to assess the spiritual so yeah. that you will be able to control the physical. Yeah, yeah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. I know it looks like a um, spiritual theory, but that is actually what God meant for us. Yeah. Amen. That is number one mystery. Let me quickly do. I have so much to say in there, but time is not my friend. Now, number two, the second mystery in what I called, I got that from uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter one, verse number five. I got it from that scripture. Is what I call divine ordination. Mm. That's right. Have you not known that we are lifted in the place of our purpose? Yes. Show me a man that wants lifting, yeah. and I will show you a man that is pressing for purpose. That's right. Now, because everything that God wants you to become, yeah. He put them on the inside of you. Yeah. Now, if you read Jeremiah chapter one verse five, he said, "From your mother's womb, he said, I knew thee. Mm -hmm. He said, and I have ordained you. you. You have an ordination, ordained you. He said, I sanctify thee. I will get there." Because the word sanctified that is the word consecration. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That is to say, I consecrated thee. You understand? You have been consecrated to be lifted. Yeah, yeah. You understand? You have been consecrated to be promoted. Yeah. You have been consecrated to be elevated. Hallelujah. You have been consecrated to be to to sure high. Come on now. Praise God. That is what God is saying to you. Hallelujah. That is the intention of divinity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now. Said in here, he said, I ordained you a prophet to the nation. Now, let me explain this. A lot of people don't know that the life that you are living is not your life. Mm -hmm. uh, because the life that you are living is the life that God wants to live through you. Yeah. Yeah. But if you miss the life, because uh, that's the reason why uh, in the Garden of Eden, Bishop, if you read that scripture very well and you have a you know uh, st what study of what God was doing in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve, you know, he was created a grown up man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but God knew that this guy will not have been able to pass through process yeah. and systems and dimensions yeah. whereby he'll be able to have the understanding of what God wants him to do. Because everybody that God created, before you are created, there is a pre pre predestination. Yeah. Oh my God, if you don't understand it, then uh, you will understand it tomorrow. There's a predestination. There's something God wants you to do. Now, it is not about you. It is about Him. That's the reason why prayer becomes actually permission for heavenly interference. Yes, sir. Because he has made himself a bound that he will come, he will not come and operate in our realm. Uh, that, that is the principle he made himself bound. Mm. You understand? I don't know the reason why he did it. Mm. That's the reason why the scriptures, I think, is the book of Psalm 115 16 or something. He said, The heaven of the heaven is of the Lord, and the heart they have given what to the children of men. Now, the reason being that he wants you to play an ambassadorial role, yeah, he wants you to become what he will have become as if he is walking this heart. That's right. So, now he will come in the garden in the cool of the day, yeah, and he will give them something. Now, do you know what God was doing for them? Because when God created you, you are not created. To be independent. Mm. 
Ah, you know that tomorrow. Mm. You are not created to be independent. That's the reason why people fail. Mm. Yeah. That's the reason why it is mentioned that the labor of a foolish man will be seen. Yeah. Because yeah. he does not know how. Yeah. You are not created to be independent. He is not. That statement is not in the bad way. You are created to receive instruction from his man. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Now, it is that instruction with precision yeah. that will lead you to distinction in life. Yeah. Yeah. Now, show me a person that has it deep with God in the school of instruction, and I will show you a person that is making waves. Yes. So, he will go in the cool of the day, have fellowship with man, and do you know what God is doing? He will begin to tell them what they need to do, what they need to do, what they need to do. You understand? Right. And one day he came, they have been deceived by another voice. Mm. They do not hear another voice. Amen. That is why you have to be very careful the kind of friend that you keep. Yes. The people that you talk to. Mm. You understand? Some of you, when you want to take cancer, you call your mom in the village. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that your mom is not good. Your mom is good. I love my mom. But there are some things that I will want to do. I would rather come to Bishop. I say, oh, Bishop, or go to Reverend Victor. Or go to BK and say, ah, this is what I want to do. What do you think about it? Now, it's not just because uh, they are men of God. It's because they have the instinct that we meet with my instinct. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. There is a divinely instinct that connects us. Now, a lot of people don't know that the reason why a lot of people are looking for yoga, they are looking... The, the yeah. way God created us, yeah. our instinct looks for the real God. Yeah. Yeah. It is in us. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to look for the God. There is a God instinct in us. Yeah. Now, if I if I speak to her, yes, yeah, she has God instinct, but not to the level where he will speak to me. Yeah. You, 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 do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So now, God is not telling you that for you to be able to know what to do and get to the place of your lifting, yeah. then you need to find your ordination. Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. That's right. You need to find your ordination. That's right. Because this ordination confers on you what I call insurance, supernatural insurance policy. That's right. The ordination is what makes a man not to die. Oh, yeah. Ordination is what makes a man not to to, to be sick. Yeah. Ordination is what makes a man to come out of trouble even when they put him in trouble. Yeah. Time yeah. will not permit me to tell you the, the story of Saul. It will not permit me to tell you the story of Joseph. Mm. Ordin ordination makes Joseph yeah. 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 to be put through all the trouble. Come permit on. me to say Wahala, all the Wahala that he went through. Yeah. Bishop, when you were saying it yesterday, yeah. I was saying, wow. 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 And as I was meditating this morning, and I got discovered that there's no person that actually rose in the scripture yeah. that did not go through trouble. Yeah. Go and look at it. That's right. God lived his men in yeah. times of crisis. Yeah. Yeah. So now, let me tell you as I want to begin to round up, because I want us to pray. Yeah. I have seven, but I'm giving you five. Don't worry. Holy Spirit will teach you the rest. <laughs> now, the thing is this, yeah? God wants you to enter into your ordination so that your spiritual insurance mm -hmm. will be in place mm -hmm. so that the devil will not be able to do anything against you. Amen. Now, listen to this. You see, Jesus Christ at a point, that bishop, with Jesus Christ, something happened to Jesus Christ. You know, when you read this Bible, the scripture, um, you will understand that even the people that you don't know, they understand you better than you understand yourself. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. When you get to the office, many times in my office, they go, oh, are you a pastor? And I didn't tell them. <laughs> you understand? Are you a pastor? Do you, do you, when, whenever I go to do any contract or anything, are, are you a pastor? The way you talk, you should join our well-being team. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I didn't you know what the way being like that. I just really know what I will lay hands on you now, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be some assaulting. <laughs> oh my God. So what am I saying? I'm saying that there are people that are looking at you, they know who you are. So God is saying to you now that the reason why he wants you to assess who you are in him 
is for your insurance to be in place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus' insurance was in place. That's the reason why Pharaoh could not kill him. I'm sorry, Aaron could not kill him. Because do you know what? They knew Jesus. Even before everybody in Israel knew yeah. Jesus, the astrologers that were coming, they yeah, knew him. Yeah, yeah. They, discussed, they knew he was a king. Yeah. Unfortunately, they had died to the house of Herod, uh, uh, and because of um, jealousy, jealousy, he wanted to kill him. <laughs> he wanted to kill him. Oh, I pity Jesus. If you have thought about it, when Jesus Christ celebrates his birthday, you understand? Mm. He will not find his mates to celebrate with. Yeah. Because every time, two years before, two years after, they were wiped out. That's right. So Jesus was the only one celebrating birthday in that region, in that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they understood, but they could not kill him. Before they could come, the angels of the Lord appeared to Joseph. He said, Take him to Egypt so that it will be it will be confirmed, fulfilled. That the scripture that said, Out of Egypt have I called my son. And when the people that wanted to kill him died, he said, Now take the child back to the place. For they that seek the life of the child are dead. Somebody say with me, divine insurance. Divine insurance. May you have insurance. Amen. So it's divine insurance that makes you to be able to do what you are supposed to do. Mm. It's divine insurance that makes you to be able to enter into the fullness of your purpose. Yeah. It's divine insurance that makes you never to stumble where other people are stumbling. Right. It's divine insurance that does not put your back on the floor That's even when right. the enemy comes against you. Right. It's divine insurance that makes you to be the fullness of all that God wants you to be. Yes. And you will not miss the glory of God. Amen. I said you will not miss the glory of God Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let me just jump because I know that uh, there is this thing that God told me one time. I mean, my wife and I were praying and uh, all of a sudden we just had a voice. Who told me that all this voice is not real? You don't know God. You understand? If you told me that India does not visit people, you don't know God. You don't. You don't because I've experienced for somebody. So there was a time India visited me in my, in my office. And I just saw that everybody was just leaving the desk, but just leaving the desk. And I saw it being came down. It's real. When I was sick in the hospital, one came in the night on Friday. Another one, two came in the morning, sir. By the time the consultant came and they put something on me, they said, there's nothing. Why did they bring you in? Hey. Angelic administration. Oh, oh, oh. I've been in a meeting that Especially, oh my God, thank God for people in Nigeria. Oh, they must have known their meeting. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Bishop, you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was preaching one day, and there were these two angels that came, one from the left, one from the left. Immediately, I could not preach anymore. Pandemonium in the hall. That's right. May God deliver London, no. Yeah. May God deliver the UK. Yeah. You will be preaching, and the thing will just be, ah. And the Bishop came and he said, when he goes to his church, he said, will I be pushing people to follow that they are going to? He said, before I do anything in every America, in everybody, there is a... He said, yeah, they will let me look at like that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. A lot of people don't understand that the spiritual goes there. Eh? It's deeper than that of Nigeria. You are talking about witchcraft. Hey, Pastor Michael, you are talking about witchcraft in Nigeria. You don't have no sin witchcraft. <laughs> to ascend here, Bishop can understand because he prays in the night. To ascend in the realms of the spirit, to pray, to break. Because there are three levels. Let me just be. There are three levels when you are praying. Let me quickly explain it. I know I'm digressing. There are three levels. You understand? Mm. The atmospheric level. Yeah. You understand? And we have the spiritual level. Uh -huh. Now, that spiritual level, the atmospheric level is okay. You understand? The spiritual level is a problem. You understand? But there is a spiritual level before you get to the throne room. Now, the throne room is the third level. Yeah. And it's the final level. That's where you will drop, oh my God, in the courtroom of God. That's why the scripture said in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse number 3, he said, call unto me, and I will answer, and I will show you. So the mountains of prayer is not just the mountain of praying, it's the mountain of showing. Come on now. Because the greatest thing you can have in God yeah. is knowing what to do to be able to assess what yeah. you need to assess. Yes. Because if you don't get there, you cannot get this living. Never. Yes. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, so, that is what God is saying to you. 
Now, when you get there, when you get when you get to that realm, then God begins to move you into dimensions. Now, we have what we call globe parachute. Mm. Mm. God has given us global shoes. It's not everybody that can wear it. That's right. Because you are not a creation of limitation. Yeah. So your listing is not is not just in London. It's not just in the UK. Mm. Your listing is everywhere. Amen. Right. There was a scripture that God gave to me one day. I went for a retreat. Ah, forgot that scripture. He said, "When they see me, they shall honor me." It's in the book of Psalm. I forgot it. Mm. He said. I will speak and the, the demonic forces will run out of their caves. Wow. And when they sorry sir. Okay, I thought you were quoting me. So and 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 and, and with the sons of the strangers will pay homage to me. So that's what the scripture is saying, and I pray that God Almighty will help me. Just let me go to the three, the third one in that job, the uh, first John. Sorry, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse number 5. He said, I sanctify thee. And the word sanctify is the word consecration. Yeah. It's the word consecration. A consecrated person is a lifted person. Yeah. Now, there are two dimensions of consecration that you have to do consecration to God, to be true to your faith, that I will not do what we annoy God. Mm -hmm. I took that from Joseph. Mm -hmm. I took that from Daniel. If you go and read the book of Daniel, you see, uh, they will not eat the king, the portion of king's meal yeah. because they were offered to idol. Mm. Now, they have been brought low already, sir. Yeah. Are, because they have been castrated. They are eunuchs. Yeah. But they said, even in this level, yeah. we will still not give in. Yeah. And God made it so that they were lifted for their consecration. Yeah. Because when they were tested, the scripture said they were 10 times better yeah. than everybody. Yeah. Receive the anointing of 10 times better. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They were 10 times better. Yeah. It does not matter what you are going through. Your yeah. dedication is what will bring you to glorification. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Know it does not matter the hardship. God is saying that you should put in yourself that global shoe. Let me tell you, you have to live a life of abnormality. Mm. Uh, some people are uh, pastor. Why are you yeah, saying that? Yeah. You have to be abnormal. Yeah, yeah. You have to be abnormal. You know the meaning of abnormal? Yeah. Abnormal is above normal. Yes. You are above normal. You are you are in a realm. Yeah. You understand that no person will be able to understand. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's what God wants you to do. And that's the reason why God is looking for your comportment so that he will give you an appointment. Amen. He wants you to comport and stay in consecration. Mm -hmm. And the Lord will help you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, that is the consecration on the side of God. You are true to your faith. A person that is consecrated in God is the person that God will lift. Yeah. You understand? You go into the scripture, you see God lifted Daniel, Sidra, Mesach, and Abednego. They said they would not bow down. You understand? They were so consecrated to God. You know? That some of you, when they ask you something in your place of work, in fact, you even keep um, your Bible. You, you don't even oh, say yeah. anything. They, oh, don't yeah. let, they don't even know whether you are born again or not. Yeah. You know? They say all that goes, and you see that they're here, okay, you'll be discussing. No, I'm not saying that you should not be friendly. But I'm saying to you that let everybody know how consecrated you are. Yeah. Yeah. You are a Nazarite. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? There's so many unclean things that are supposed not to. Yeah. God told me that if you can keep it right with me, yeah. I will keep it right with you. Hey. Mm -hmm. I told myself, people are saying, eh, eh, eh. you see, a lot of times when people see you, they don't know the kind of consecration you have because, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you are wearing the kind of clothes that we are in. They are, you are doing what they are doing and everything. You are going to the office at the, the way they are going to the office, but they don't know that you have a closet. Yeah. Now I tell people when you pray, prayer purifies the person that is praying. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you are married here and you want to have intimacy with your with your spouse, will you fight your spouse? No. No, you will not. You will not. If not, the room will be blocked by night. <laughs> Amen. I will have a down. This day. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me just the be there. So that, that, that's just the issue. The same thing with God. The kind of 
life that God wants us to live is a kind of life that is called koinonia fellowship. You yeah. know the word koinonia? Yeah. The word koinonia is intercourse. Yeah. Yeah. He wants us to regulate on that so that we'll be able to do the will of God. I pray God will help you, Jesus. Amen. Let me quickly say this then. I will just say uh, mention the, the, the rest, then we'll go. Now, the, the fourth mystery is divine orchestration divine orchestration is called the mystery of time and chance. The mystery of time, time and chance. Because God has a way of manipulating circumstances to bring you to your appointed That's time. Right. That's right. He pulls you, he pulls you out of Kronos yeah. and establishes you in Kairos. Yeah. Appointed time. Yeah. And this Time and season, the engender opportunity, yeah. and the rise of men are in the womb of opportunity. Yeah. Show yeah. me a person that is okay, and yeah. I will show you the person that God created opportunity for. for. That's right. Opportunities are the biggest of men. Yeah. You understand? Opportunity. Now, see that Bishop had mercy on me. He said, "Just don't mind." He said, uh, "Pastor, we go come." You are preaching tonight. You are giving us the word tonight. You never can tell Bishop Sam. Yeah. Many people that will see me on this plan, platform. <laughs> That's right. That will say, please come and preach to us because we like what you say. Yeah. I'm not patronizing you. They are watching me online, but I'm just saying that that is what can happen. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. That's right. So God has a way of orchestrating things. Yeah. That's right. For God's servant to say. Pastor, come and give the word. There is something right. that God wants to do. It's not just ordinary, sir. That's right. It's not. And that's the reason why I don't take it lightly. Mm -hmm. The Lord will help us. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let me quickly go then. The other one is divine direction. Yes. Divine direction. Isaiah chapter 30, verse number 21. The scripture will hear a voice from behind you and going to say to you, this is the way we're walking it. It is very, very important for us to have the understanding that direction will actually get us to the place of lifting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, in Jeremiah chapter 10, verse number 23, the scripture says the way of the man is not in man. Yeah. It's not in the man that is walking to direct yeah. us, but you yeah. don't know yourself. Proverbs chapter 20, verse number 24, he said, the man does not know himself. How can he not direct his face? That's right. So you don't know where to go. Uh, another scripture said there's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end therefore, the end of his is destruction. So you don't know where to go. The Galatians said that Matthew verse number 15, the labor of a foolish man will listen. Because he does not know how. He doesn't know how. The how of a thing is what brings a man into lifting. Yes, sir. No matter how well placed you are in your place of work, if yeah. you can't perform, they will put you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He does not know how. Mm. So that's the reason why God is speaking to you today. You have to have relationship with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You have to trust the Spirit of God. Because I said to you the other time, Jesus Christ said, He will take of me and give to you. He said, He will teach you all things. He will guide you into all the truth. Yeah. He will witness me and He will take of me that is yours Come on now. and give to you. Yes, sir. Because there are so many things that you have in Christ that should come to you naturally. Mm. But you don't have that Holy Spirit grace. Come on. Relationship, you don't have it. Yeah. Amen. And that's where you have the anointing. Yeah. You understand? That is why you have the anointing. That's why you have the direction. Yeah. I, I, I was just praying one day and the Holy Spirit brought me into a, into a scriptural dimension in Luke chapter 1, verse number 34, 35, they are about. He said, you see, I learned from that woman. You see, when they were talking about Mary, about a virgin, they didn't yeah. mention Mary's name. Yeah, yeah. It's a virgin shah, not Mary shah, but Mary was so positioned. Yeah. You understand? So yeah. God is yeah. expecting your positioning Come on. so that the Holy Spirit will be able to come to you and the anointing of the Holy Ghost will make you to do what you will not be able to do under normal circumstances. Yes, yeah. So that is how you get this lifting in direction. He said, in Luke chapter 1, verse number 34, 34, when the Holy Spirit has to, he said, um, after they have had the conversation, he said, how can this be since I don't know man? Yeah. Oh my God. I like that answer. He said, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. He said, the, the power of the highest shall come upon you. Ah, if you are a man of God, you don't pray that prayer. Hey, 
you have to pray that prayer. I prayed that prayer for five hours. And I removed my shoe. I stood in lakeside in one sheep boot like that. I was walking up and down. Pastor, I said, ah, but man of God, this thing, you are taking it to another dimension. I said, yes. Because he told me in Joshua chapter 1, verse number 3, I don't take you for that. He said, We are so ever the soul of the fish are tread upon. They have given unto you. He you know, said, From river Ephraims, from where you are, I told you to a dimension. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I began to pray, and before I knew what was happening, doors began to open unto That's me. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. And Jesus, our Lord, divinity in humanity. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, if you read Acts chapter 10, verse number 38. He said, how Jesus was anointed by what? The Holy Ghost and power. So that, those are the two representations of the anointing. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that there are so, so many things that work with this thing. A lot of people don't know that if you need to have wisdom, go and read the word of God. Oh, yeah. Or read it. If you need to, to, to have the presence of God, go and pray. If you need to have power, go and fast. If you need to have prosperity, go and give. That's hey. right. These are the things that God has given unto us for our lifting. Yeah. May you never go behind Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Number six is supplication, and number seven is prophetic declaration. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. oh, Bishop, just give me two minutes or three minutes to be able to lead this people in prayer. I want people, sir. Lekando steria baku shariara. Have you been blessed today? There's somebody that God is going to change levels for. Yes. Your level is changing today, tonight, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, please, if you don't know what to do tonight, you pack. Or in fact, no, wait, wait till tomorrow when we shall finish the work. Pack. I tell you this: is what I do. Pack these messages together. God has helped you is on YouTube. If you want to escape the service, you can cut it. There are several ways by which you can cut this thing. Pack them together. Go somewhere. Listen to it and pray. Now, Come on. do you know how I pray over a message? Hmm. There was this message that Bishop preached one time. Ah, it's a long time in Bisha. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot forget that message. You know what I did? I packed that message. That time, that's why the used to open his door to me to, to pray. And I took that message. Now, do you know how to listen to a message spiritually? You are listening and you are speaking in tongues. You understand? You are listening and you are speaking every direction. A lot of you don't know. You see, it's not far fetched to know what to do. Pack a message. You are preaching anything that you want. Take it to the place where you can pray. Our people are lazy. So many people are not praying. This morning, please, I'm not brava doing you. I'm just saying to you to challenge you. This morning, Bishop, God is my witness. I have tarried eight hours non stop in prayer today. Non stop eight hours. And you and I'm praying and I'm still believing God and you are not praying. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Yes. Have respect for the government. Lift up your hands to heaven. Oh, they can put a shaking camera on the data. They get the scent on the air on the air. Oh, bro, give me spring and uh, just bring it up a little. Let's go at the delegate. They can't do shaking camera on the data. They can't do shaking 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 on the data. Father Lord, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'm going to hand over the microphone to Bishop very shortly. And uh, just, you know, take us to any dimension that the Holy Spirit is asking you to take us. But I want you to put your hands in your chest. And you begin to say, Holy Spirit, meet with my spirit. If there's anything you want, I want you to just believe God for tonight is divine direction uh, you need to be directed you need to know what to do because a person that does not know what to do will be stranded in the affairs of life you need to pray father lord i want to thank you lord i want to thank you thank you thank you in jesus mighty name we pray amen your hymn is not loud enough. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Holy Spirit, I have 
have done what you asked me to do. Our deal was that I will speak, but you are the one that will be speaking to me. There have been things that I said that caught the attention of the Spirit of God in the heart of these people. And in any dimension that they, they need you to change things in their lives. Father, I pray, oh God, that you will bring that change that they desire. Amen. Everything they anticipate in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you sleep tonight, you will you will you will you will have a dream. Uh, that some of you you will have a dream. They will, God will show you what you need to do. Uh -huh. God will show you what you will need to do. Hallelujah. Now there is a man that has been standing in the place for a long time. And the place you are standing looks like where you think you will get the miracle that you are expecting. But God said to me that you have to move not word. I don't know what not what will mean to you. He said he will tell you when you obey that when you move not word, he will take you to the place where your lifting is and he will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, you are watching me online. You don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. This is the time. This is the season. Tomorrow may be too late. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the hand of the Lord will be rested upon your life and the conviction that you need to, you need to come to the beloved may you receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. For a lot of you who are trusting God for one healing or the other, receive your healing now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever breakthrough that you are trusting God for, in the will of God, receive now in the name of Jesus. Amen. The people that saw you before you came to this conference, when they see you again, they will say, Ha! A new you has emerged. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are lifted amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Come and shout amen three times. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Shout Shall we have the bishop, please? God bless you. Thank you, sir.